Hey, welcome back future rich people. Today we got another tutorial by rareage.com. As you can see, I'm already here. Now today we're going to be talking about three different types of hostings and which one is going to be the right one for you. So the three that we'll talk about is going to be our website builder, our cPanel, and our WordPress plan. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So head over to the hosting tab, down to the website builder, now with the website builder, this is going to be an extremely, I mean extremely, extremely easy way to build a website. This is going to be a website builder that is comparable to what Wix and Weebly have to offer. It's essentially a builder that will give you a theme. Once you have that theme, you essentially click on an image that's there and then replace it with your own image. If there's text there, you click on the text and then replace it with your own text. So like I said, it's very, very easy to use. You can build a website very, very fast. On average, people can build that website within the first seven days. Um, you know, if you even even if you have like a good hour just to sit there, uh, people can even get that knocked out that quickly. Now with the websites that the website builders can build, this is going to be essentially for informational websites. So if you have, uh, for example, a solar company, a dance studio, or even uh, even like owning a restaurant and you just want to have a list of the things that you offer or you just want to have like a menu there or even just a contact form available then the website builder is going to be the plan for you now really the biggest difference between these three is just going to be personal personal is going to be you know just as it sounds so if this is going to be a website for like school a wedding announcement a birth announcement then that's going to be the one that you want to use if you're going to be doing this for business, then the business and the business plus are the way to go. The biggest difference between the two is going to be that business plus is going to come with search engine optimization. Now that is an extremely powerful tool that I 100% recommend. This is going to be for a business that you plan on running for the long run. Now, the reason why you want search engine optimization is that it allows you to, to insert keywords onto the website so that when people are typing in these keywords into Google, Google knows to associate your website with those keywords so it makes it a lot easier for people to find you whereas with the business that's not really going to happen you know it's just it's going to take a lot more groundwork a lot more word of mouth essentially to get people to your website because um, you won't you won't be able to rely on those keywords like you would the website builder business plus um, but as a whole these are going to be the plans for informational sites if you will now let's go ahead and jump on over to our cPanel plan so up to hosting again down to cPanel now with the cPanel builder definitely this is going to be a builder that will allow you to build a website with a ton of different options so you can build with wordpress drupal zencart joomla dreamweaver etc i mean there's just a ton of different builders that you can use within the cPanel so therefore it just makes it a very very powerful tool for a little bit more of an advanced user um, so if you're an advanced user and you know how to use different resources or even if you know how to code, then the cPanel is going to be the best option for you. Uh, this could be for informational sites, e-commerce sites, uh, pretty much any site that you can think of, the cPanel plans are going to be able to do it for you. Um, really at that point it's just having, you know, you're know, you just going to need to have the knowledge and how to use it because um, really what it is is that with whatever software you plan on using, you do have to make sure that you do have the knowledge on how to use Drupal or how to use Dreamweaver. And then you have to have the knowledge of how to use FTP to get it in there. Now, I know a lot of that just kind of sounds like um, <laughs> kind of kind of just went over your head if you're not too familiar with that. But like I said, um, you know, if, if none of that sounds familiar to you, then I wouldn't really recommend that to you at all. Um, there are different alternatives that you can go for, which would be the website builder and the next plan that we're about to talk about, which is going to be the WordPress specific plan. Um, but the main difference between these three, uh, the economy deluxe and the ultimate, is just going to be the fact that the economy comes with the ability to host one website, the deluxe can host unlimited websites, and then the ultimate can host unlimited with double the speed of the deluxe. So really, it's, a, it's just going to be single website, unlimited, and unlimited with faster speed. Um, so from there, let's go ahead and jump on over to the next plan, which is going to be WordPress. Now with WordPress, this is actually going to be my personal favorite plan for building WordPress websites. And the reason why, with these WordPress specific hostings, um, it's specifically geared to WordPress. So this hosting doesn't have to worry about being universal where it can host different types you know just like the cPanel where it can host the Dreamweaver 
Joomla, etc. coding. Um, it only focuses on WordPress, so therefore it makes it a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier to work with. So really, with these specific plans, all that you need to do is just select your domain name, create a username and password, and then boom, right away you're inside of the builder. You can start building the website right away. So it's very, very easy to use. Um, not as easy as the website builder, um, but definitely it's a whole lot easier to use than if you decided to use the cPanel. Now as a whole, the types of website you can build with this is going to be, once again, um, it's going to be online stores and it's going to be informational sites, landing pages. You, go, you can go the whole nine yards with these hostings. Um, the biggest difference is between the plans. Um, kind of like the cPanel, it's just going to be a difference between how many sites you can host. So with the basic, you have one website. The locks, you have one website, but you get that search engine optimization tool that I talked about, uh, that I talked about before. So like I said, a very, very powerful tool if you're going to be doing this for a serious business and especially for the long run. Now with the ultimate, you get two websites. Developer, you get five websites. Pro, you get 25 websites. So there's definitely you know a whole lot of breathing room whenever you come into the WordPress plans. Like I said, it's a lot easier to manage whenever it comes to actually being able to build those websites and manage them once you're there. Whereas the cPanel, it takes a little bit more work but with WordPress, it's really all just there for you. Um, so as a whole, this has been the this has been the video on which kind of hosting to choose. If you have any additional questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, we do also have a 24/7 support team. Um, this 24/7 support team is available at any point in time. Go ahead and call that phone number right there, which is a 480-624-2500. Well, we do have a trained sales team. Uh, in which case, you can essentially get with them and tell them what exactly it is that you're trying to do. So if you called in saying, hey, I have, a, I have a restaurant that I'm trying to get up online. What do I need in order to make my website successful? They'll go ahead and build out a game plan for you, tell you what exactly it is that you need, and get you going from there. So it's very easy. Um, they'll make sure that they'll get you the right things the first time around. The biggest thing that you always want to make sure that you do before you call in, just make sure that you have a little bit, you know, kind of, kind of like a list of questions that you want to get off, um, that you want to get out there, just so that we have the full story. That way we can get you the correct plan. Now, if you did happen to find the video very informative, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also, go ahead and hit subscribe, and then don't forget to hit that bell icon to make sure that you are part of the notification squad. To make sure that every single time I release another one of these tutorials, you are notified every single time. That way it helps you get better and helps your business get to where you want to be. It also helps me a bit too. But as a whole, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next Wednesday. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.